Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. My bad. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be... The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out. Nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. <clears throat> okay. Jeez. Who's throwing stuff around? Uh, better call it pass control. Don't get involved, should we take action? No, no. The matters of national security, but... have to salute to get this post. Not bad, huh? I figure since no one knows about the escape tunnel, this is the easiest gig in town. I mean, all we gotta do is... Oh, shit! What? Shit! I forgot to leave the all-access keycard in the parking garage. Are you kidding? Ugh, I need to get back there before Exo tears me a new one. All right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel. It's way faster. Yeah, yeah.
for you, recruit. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, he got cold feet, tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart, but... According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. It's uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Uh, never you mind. Consider General Zaydan is the man's a traitor. And that's all there is. And you remember, they probably got cold feet about the operation. Right. 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 Oh, they're full forever. And it's all good. X, Y. Bet that's why he saved the execution for after the phone call. Command of the firing squad is a pretty good way to bend. He's screaming into a sofa cushion. Don't know. Maybe he thinks treachery is contagious. <laughs> Maybe. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir.
someone in here? Hello? Zidane won't expect resistance from a tied-up prisoner. That is General Reza Zidane, Keeper of the Peace. Time to decide. What should I do? Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Syed. Plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Sir? <laughs> Officer, how are you? Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Massage expert Connie Engstrom. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a... Oh, come on! Yeah, Donald, I can't... No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. I... No, hold on. I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald? Good day, officer. I'm sure I can manage. Thank you very much. Okay, so, what's next here? 
the... No? What is this? A large Hadron Collider? What is this? It's a freaking chair. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yes, hello. This is, well, I'm calling from the consulate in Marrakesh. You people uh, sold no, us the uh, Nazi uh. chair. What kind of a name is that? All right. So, Johan, this is the biggest I'm day of your life. Believe it or not, I have had a single head of these create an international. There's supposed to be some sort of wheel that. It's. Not a wheel. It's a graphical representation of a user tightening a flat-headed five-millimeter screw in a counterclockwise motion. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, from where I'm standing, it looks a lot like a wheel. Okay, fine. And what are those four semicolon-like little metal things? Don't think. I'm what? Number four in. How did that? I've been here the whole. Ugh. Massage expert Connie Angstrom report at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk.
We'll play the waiting game. I'm good at that. I meditate. I could do this all day. Johnny Engstrom, monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. I need to search you. Wealthy, of course. With whom he had a daughter, Eva. Wait, Some people get off on this. Not me, sense. obviously. He filed for divorce shortly after the birth of her daughter. That's fine. And Have a nice day, sir. Later died from cancer. Strandberg saw fit to con his estranged teenager out of seven figures. Ah, so the man with the golden touch. Let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Hey, you shaved your head, Connie? Nice. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, oh, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Oh, hey, you're that masseur, right? Say what?
That's okay. Welcome, sir. Salutations, sir. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 